If I had a dollar for every time someone asked me, should I get my CCNA? I could build a freaking data center in my backyard and never have to work again. Here's the truth. For some of you, it's the smartest move you can make, but for others, it's a complete waste of time and money. Before you buy an exam voucher, let's figure out which group you're in because this will save you months of studying and a decent chunk of cash. I've been in networking for 15 years. Yeah, I'm old. I got my CCNA back in 2019. I've recertified it every few years. I've hired people with the CCNA and I've seen plenty of people chase this certification for the wrong reasons. So when I say the CCNA might not be for you, it's not coming from some anti-certification mindset. It's coming from watching people waste time and effort on something they really didn't need. A lot of folks treat the CCNA like it's the default starter cert for anyone in tech, and it's not. If your goal is cybersecurity or cloud or server work or DevOps, you don't need to spend months learning Cisco configuration syntax. You need networking fundamentals, not full-on router and switch configurations. That's the disconnect. People hear CCNA teaches fundamentals and assume that means everyone should get it. No, 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 no. It means the fundamentals are important, but the CCNA goes way deeper than most non-networking roles will ever touch. And a quick aside here, because cloud always comes up. If you're heading into cloud, you usually don't need the CCNA. Most cloud roles only need networking basics, not full-on Cisco configs, but you're doing cloud infrastructure or cloud networking, things like express route, direct connect, hybrid routing, the CCNA actually does help a lot. There's a simple rule. If you're building apps in the cloud, skip it. If you're building networks that touch the cloud, it's worth it. All right, so does that mean the CCNA is outdated? No, not at all. It just means you have to understand what you're signing up for. The reason the CCNA still matters in 2026 has nothing to do with hype and everything to do with how networks actually work today. If your goal is to be a network engineer, don't overthink it. Get the CCNA. It's the baseline. It's the certification hiring managers recognize. It proves you understand how networks function, not that you just memorized buzzwords. And like it or not, Cisco still dominates a huge part of the enterprise market you're learning the vendor you're most likely to run into on the job. Now, sure, you could start with Juniper or Arista or another vendor, but unless you really enjoy shrinking your job options, the CCNA gives you the widest range of opportunities. It's the best bang for your buck. The reason it has staying power is simple. You learn how routing decisions are made, you learn switching behavior, VLANs, trunking, segmentations, you learn access control lists, wireless fundamentals, IP services, I could keep going on and on. You even get introduced into automation concepts so you don't look terrified or like you're completely clueless when someone mentions Python. This is the foundation every serious network engineer needs. So is it still worth it in 2026? Yes. Absolutely yes. Cloud doesn't erase physical networks. Automation doesn't fix a broken topology. SDN still relies on the same underlying principles. It's just abstract. Every cloud provider is built on massive physical networks. Every enterprise still has switches, routers, firewalls, cables, access points, all of it. And someone has to understand how it all works when things break. The CCNA gives you the skills that age well because fundamentals don't change. Now, if you're not going into networking, but you just want to understand the basics, don't force the CCNA. Go with something lighter. Network Plus, a fundamentals course, free YouTube content, a home lab. There's a lot of options out there. You'll get what you need without drowning in Cisco configuration. Save the CCNA for what it actually benefits you. Here's the bottom line. Figure out where you actually want to go, not what the loudest person online says, not what the trend of the month is, your path. If you want to be a network engineer, get the CCNA. If you don't, pick the certification or learning path that supports your actual goals. The worst thing you can do is spend months working on a cert that doesn't move your career forward. I hope that helped, and don't forget to follow me, you nerds.